Hi and welcome to another Render Studios After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to animate a butterfly. You might have seen a variety of different tutorials on this particular subject around the internet on YouTube and stuff like that, but my version's a lot more simple. I'm using expressions rather than manual keyframing, so it should save you a bit of time and you may learn a few things or two about expressions. Well, I'll go ahead and create a new composition, call this Butterfly. And I'll make a folder and just call it Sources. I created um, some Photoshop layers of each part of the Butterfly. I'll just import them now. So you only need the body and the left and right wing. Drag them into your Sources. And then drag them into your Butterfly Comp. Turn them all into 3D layers, and I'll go to Layer, New, Null Object. You can hide that just so you don't see this silly red box here. I'll just quickly name this Animation. And I'm going to the Effects and Presets column and run a search for Slider, Slider Control. Drag that onto us, Null Object. And we want two of these, so Command D or Control D to duplicate. We'll call the top one Flap, which is going to take care of the the flapping wings animation. And the second we'll call Speed, which is obviously the the speed of the flapping animation. First thing we're going to do is twirl down this arrow here, and the same for the effects and Flap. And what we're going to do is copy and paste an expression which I've also included in the project file. Here it is here. So we'll select all of that, copy, and go to our animation null object. Hold down Alt and click on the slider stopwatch. Paste it in there. You won't notice a change yet, but what we need to do is hit R to bring up the rotation parameters of the left wing. Hold Alt and click on the Y rotation. Now you see this little whip icon here, you want to click and drag that right up to the slider. You can see it highlights and do the exact same for the right wing. Hit R for rotation, Alt click Y rotation, click and drag this pick whip to slider again. And now what you want to do is go back to the null object and enter your chosen parameter for the speed. This can be whatever you want, but I find that 11 works quite well. And this is what we've got so far. As you can obviously see, there's a, a bizarre error, both wings are animating in the same direction. There's a quick way to rectify this. If we go to the, the left wing, and we bring up our expression here, and to have this particular wing animate in the opposite direction, we're going to hold shift and click number 8 to bring up the asterisk. Open bracket, minus 1, close bracket. And now it animates in the opposite direction. And that's basically our, our looped animation complete. Go back to his project and we'll, we'll create a new composition. And now we're going to drag his butterfly in there. And we'll make this a 3D layer. And this is basically where you're free to animate the butterfly in any shape or form you want, really. One thing you might notice, if we just quickly rotate it around and we run through, the composition is still flat. So what I want to do is collapse the transformation, which you can do via clicking this little sun icon here. And now you can see it turns it into a 3D object, basically. All right, so uh, if you want to copy the animation I did in the demonstration video. I'll quickly run through what I did. Set everything everything to zero and we'll hit the stopwatch for rotation. Hit P and the stopwatch for position. And we'll hit S for scale as well. Obviously you could also use a camera to animate the butterfly 
but I prefer to animate this individually so then that'll allow me to drag in another butterfly and animate that completely differently. Right, so we'll, we'll start off by getting the butterfly in a nice position. It will take you a while to get used to the rotation parameters, figuring out which, which axis does what. can be quite confusing at first. There we go, he's facing left. We'll just drag this keyframe right to the start. Right, we'll drag our butterfly right to the top. And go forward about 10 frames. And now we'll, we'll drag it about there. One thing you might want to do as well, go to the start and make him about 200%. So it looks as though he's uh, a lot close to the camera. Might be a bit too big, maybe 150. And strain back a bit. So he's dropping straight down, and then we'll go to about one, one second. We'll drag the butterfly towards the left, and we'll go to... Oh, 120 percent. You can also add a bit of rotation as well. This is all trial and error. And we'll go to two second now. We'll turn the butterfly around and we'll change that to 100 percent. It basically looks like the butterfly is turning around and flying in the opposite direction. Uh, we'll go to three, about four seconds. And we'll drag the butterfly right over there, turn it around. And make it even smaller, about 50%. What I like to do as well is convert all the keyframes to easy ease just to have a more fluid an animation and there's one other issue we're having it's the animation it's it's almost it's too smooth and obviously um butterfly insects are quite jerky they're bobbing around every everywhere what we can do is hold this alt key and click on position and we only want the butterfly to be wiggling um, along the X and Y axis. So what we'll do is we'll do a special expression. We'll hit W equals wiggle. Open bracket. And I've gone for 3 comma 80. Close bracket and hit the semicolon. Now hit enter to drop down a line. And open the square bracket, W, square bracket again, zero. Close the square bracket, comma, W, open square bracket, one, and then two square brackets. And basically what this does is just animate sideways and up and down. So it's not coming backwards and forwards towards the camera, which can uh, make it a bit disorientating. As you can see, this adds a bit of randomness, which makes the butterfly a lot more lifelike. We'll just drag the butterfly right out of frame. And go down to about 25%. There's a bit of a weird animation right at the start. That can be easily changed if you select all of the position keyframes. If you get in any kind of weird position animation where it's moving really quickly then stopping. Select all your keyframes and go to keyframe interpolation and set that to linear. And that should sort it out. Um, what you might want to do is uh, line up all these keyframes as well. Just so you don't get any jerkiness. Obviously it's all animating a bit quick at the minute. I've done this very quickly. If you want to just drag these keyframes out a bit. So it ain't quite as jerky. 
drag these ones back. I'll have a quick look what that looks like. That's not too bad, it's not as good as my demonstration video, but as I said, I've done this very quick. One final thing is in my my version I used a blur effect which adds a nice element of realism. It looks as though the camera is struggling to focus on the butterfly. So if we type in just type in lens and then drag out the camera lens blur effect. And we'll hit the stopwatch for blur radius. Just click U again. So it brings up your new effect. And we'll start it out at about 15. Now as you can see as a butterfly comes down it's nice and blurry. Hit the stopwatch again and now we'll have the butterfly coming into focus. We'll hit zero. We'll have a quick look what that looks like. The blur does slow down your render time a bit unfortunately. And then we'll <clears throat> as the butterfly gets to about here, hit the stopwatch again, and the final keyframe will set to about 30. So it looks as though the butterfly is going out of focus the further away from the camera it goes. And yeah, that's it basically. Just play around with your position, rotation, and scale parameters until you've got a cool, realistic animation of the butterfly. And um, if you want to change the colour, that's very, very simple indeed. You just click on the butterfly and just drop on a quick hue or saturation. And then we'll see what colour you can get. There you go, any colour butterfly you want. Also, another thing as well, you can um, go into the, the PSD I've included, this butterfly. I've just cut this out of a, a photograph of a butterfly off Google but you could get any butterfly you want and uh, you can get a variety of different shapes or you could even use a, a dragonfly or a, some kind of weird bird anything with wings really will work and then obviously you just replace your layers in the sources with your new insect and that should work fine thanks for watching